Good day children. Sai Ram. Welcome back to our Bali education class. Children, what did we do in the previous period of Bali education? What did Kani Dada ji teach us? Which story did he tell you? Do you remember that? Yes, Kani Dada ji told us the story of two friends and their true friendship. Who were the two friends? Ye Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Raghunath. They both were best friends. And we had seen how did Chaitanya Mahaprabhu showed his true friendship towards Raghunath by throwing the book in the river which he has written on logic. Why? Because so that Raghunath's book named Didhiti can become the greatest book on logic. Okay. So this we have seen in the previous period. Okay. Today we are going to do the textbook activity. So let us start. Okay. Answer the following questions. Okay. I will be asking the questions and we are going to answer the questions. Okay. First one. Who was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? What was his childhood name? Come on, tell me. Who was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Yes. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was a great saint of Bengal. Who was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? He was a great saint of Bengal. What was his childhood's name? His childhood name was Gaurang. What was his childhood name? Gaurang. Okay. So, who was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? What was his childhood name? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was a great saint of Bengal. His childhood name was Gaurang. Next number. Who was his friend? Who was his friend? Raghunath was his friend. So, who was Chaitanya's friend? Raghunath was his friend. Who was his guru? So, what was his guru's name? Come on, tell me. What was Chaitanya's and Raghunath's guru's name? Vasudeva Sarvabhauma was his guru. Okay, who was his guru? Vasudeva Sarvabhauma was his guru. What, who was his friend? Raghunath was his friend. Who was his guru? Vasudeva Sarvabhauma was his guru. Okay. Number four. What subject did Chaitanya and Raghunath master? What subject did Chaitanya and Raghunath master? Chaitanya and Raghunath mastered the subject logic. Chaitanya and Raghunath mastered the subject logic. What subject did Chaitanya and Raghunath master? Chaitanya and Raghunath mastered the subject logic. Number 5. After returning from Gurukul, what did Raghunath do? After returning from Gurukul, what did Raghunath do? Come on, tell me. What did Raghunath do after returning from Gurukul? Yes. What did he do? After returning from Gurukul, Raghunath devoted all his time to the study of logic and gave lectures in the courts of great kings. After returning from Gurukul, what did Raghunath do? After returning from Gurukul, Raghunath devoted all his time to the study of 
logic and gave lectures in the courts of great kings okay next number 6 after returning from gurukul what did chaitanya do after returning from gurukul what did chaitanya do after returning from gurukul chaitanya got immersed in love and devotion towards lord krishna did meditation and sang the lord's glories all the time after returning from gurukul what did chaitanya do after returning from gurukul chaitanya got immersed in love and devotion towards lord krishna did meditation and sang the lord's glories all the time okay make the next question number 7 Where did Chaitanya and Raghunath meet one day? Where did Chaitanya and Raghunath meet one day? Chaitanya and Raghunath met each other at a river bank. Chaitanya and Raghunath met each other on at the river bank where did chaitanya and ragunath meet one day chaitanya and ragunath met each other at the river bank number 8 which book did chaitanya give to ragunath which book did chaitanya give to raghunath let us see the answer chaitanya gave the book which he has written on logic chaitanya gave the book which he has written on logic which book the chaitanya gave to raghunath Chaitanya gave the book which he has written on logic. Number 9. Why did Raghunath become sad after seeing the book? Why did Raghunath become sad after seeing the book? Raghunath became sad after seeing the book because his work will not be cared for once people come to know of Chaitanya's work Raghunath became sad after seeing the book because his work will not be cared for once people come to know of Chaitanya's work why did ragunath become sad after seeing the book ragunath became sad after seeing the book because his work will not be cared for once people come to know of chaitanya's work okay next one number 10 how did chaitanya show his love towards his friend how did chaitanya show his love towards his friend chaitanya threw the book into the river which he has written on logic and showed his love towards his friend 
Chaitanya through the book into the river which he has written on logic and showed his love towards his friend. How did Chaitanya show his love towards his friend? Chaitanya threw the book into the river which he has written on logic and showed his love towards his friend. Number 11. What was the name of the book written by Raghunath? What was the name of the book written by Raghunath? Didhiti was the name of the book written by Raghunath. Didhiti was the name of the book written by Raghunath. What was the name of the book written by Raghunath? Didhiti was the name of the book written by Raghunath. Okay? Children, we have finished the question answers. Now, see the next one, activity time. Are you a good friend? Pick the points you feel are important in a friend. Cross those you feel are not important. So, what you have to do is that you have to tick the points you feel that are important for, for a friend according to you. And you have to cross those who feel that is that the, the, those, those points are not important for a friend. Okay. So, let us see which, po which points you feel important and which points you feel, don't feel important. Let us see. Okay. Okay. Now. See, someone who, first A1, someone who can keep a secret. Okay. So, do you feel that this point is important for a friend? Yes. Someone who can keep a secret. That is important no, for a friend. So, what will you do? Put a tick. Put a tick in the box. So, someone who can keep a secret. Okay. According to me. Or according to you, this point is important for a friend, right? So, someone who can keep a secret, right? Now, B1, someone who can, who cheats you. This point is, do you think this point is important for a friend? No, someone who cheats you. Will you make a friend, will you do friendship with that particular boy or a girl? No. With the particular boy or girl? No. Someone who cheats will not make the friendship with that boy or a girl. So, put a cross. So, someone who cheats you, you don't feel that it is important for your friend. Okay. Now, someone who likes to show off. No. Put a cross. Someone stands up, stands up for you. Someone who stands up for you. Yes. Put a tick. Someone who helps you. Yes. Someone who helps you. Yes. Put a tick. Someone who likes you even when you are not good at studies. Someone who likes you even when you are not at good, not good at studies. Put a tick. Yes. Next one. Someone who tells others you are a weakling. Someone who tells others you are a weakling. So, just put a cross. Someone who is good at sports. Is it necessary or, or the one who is only good at sports will become uh, your friend? No, not necessary. Okay. So, put a cross. Put a cross. Okay, so children, we have ended with our today's period and we'll meet in the next period with a new lesson. Till then, have a nice day. 
Sayram.